After receiving production clearance, the smart missile is slated for deployment on the Indian Navy's existing fleet of anti-submarine warfare corvettes. A chemical engineer who was employed by a private company supplying parts to DRDO projects, was arrested for passing sensitive information to a Pakistani agent. The deputy chief of the general staff of the Vietnamese army showed keen interest in the BrahMos coastal missile variant. After the recent docking of Chinese research vessel in Maldives, the Maldivian foreign minister has said that his government has not permitted the Chinese vessel to conduct research in the Maldivian waters. Bengaluru-based all-terrain private limited has developed two-seater and four-seater all-terrain vehicles that are also suitable for various military applications. After inducting 25 J-10 fighters, Pakistan has started discussions with China to acquire additional 25 J-10 sea fighter jets. After US allegations of religious freedom violations in India, the Russian Foreign Ministry has accused the United States of making unfounded accusations that are aimed at destabilizing India during the general elections. Even after five months of docking, Cambodia's Defense Ministry has insisted that the presence of two Chinese warships at the Reem Naval Base does not constitute a permanent deployment of the Chinese military in the country. India was the largest foreign customer of Israel Aerospace Industries, accounting for a quarter of its exports last year in 2023. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval met with his British counterpart, and they held discussions on the Technology and Security Initiative. General Electric is all set to increase investments in its F404 engine production line, and this move comes as India finalizes a deal for 97 additional Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The investment will focus on new tooling, refurbishment of existing machinery, and the acquisition of additional equipment that will specifically target the production of F404 engine blades and vanes, and critical components for achieving optimal engine performance. Experts have said that India's renewed interest has reignited the production line, and General Electric is now playing catch-up to steadily increase output to meet India's needs. After conducted successful test firings of the 250 km range rampage supersonic air-to-ground missile from Su-30 fighter jets and the Indian Navy's MiG-29K, Air Force's Jaguar strike aircraft have now started captive flight trials with the rampage missile, and these trials involve testing the integration of the missile with the aircraft systems, while keeping it firmly attached to the aircraft throughout the flight. The next stage will likely involve firing tests, that will assess the rampage's accuracy effectiveness and overall performance when launched from the Jaguar platform. While working on the upgraded Netramark 1A and Netramark 2 programs, the DRDO is actively pursuing the development of a dome antenna, specifically designed for the OAX program. The dome-mounted OAX program seeks a dome antenna mounted on top of the aircraft to achieve full 360-degree coverage, which offers a significant advantage in aerial surveillance. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.